Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Going in the town at night. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll go show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of the shiver from the past. There's no escaping now, dude. No lava, no water. Ha, I'm gonna get- Whoa, what the- That was convenient! A sandstorm! In a game of chance. Well, come back ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I am your host, Silent Senior 9 and I just want you guys to take five seconds to listen to this. You hear it? That's right! Silent Senior got himself a new mic! Who? Raw. That means no more fuzzy noise, no more ugh, disgusting, annoying, mm, like somebody's like meditating in the background or something, you know. Which would be perfect if I was doing a meditating vi video or a video with a fan or a video with a humming, with the hum sound like a bee. But I'm doing a let's play, so I have to say, guys, I am so sorry it took me this long to get me this blessed mic. But I am very pleased with the fact that I managed to finally get it. And I just want to say a quick thank you to three users. First user, Green uh, Green Trump one thanks a bunch for being bold and brassy and pointing it out. Appreciate it, dude. Very much obliged that you managed to voice your opinion. That, like, dude, that's got to go. That's got to go. You need to get yourself mocked, dude. There ain't no two ways about it. I'm much appreciated. Uh, the second one... I want to thank the Metroid Slayer. You've been a big help. You had, you helped me with my search with how to fix some of this stuff and how to like and better improve the quality of my sound. So I guess as a somewhat of a New Year's revolution, I guess for my channel is, I swear that I will improve the quality of the sound of all of my videos that I make from here on out. I can't guarantee the ones I've already made, guys. I'm not that talented yet. If I manage to figure that out, I'll go back and fix those too. But for the time being, from now on, you guys will have this quality sound. And the last user I want to thank, Chega Conroy, thanks a bunch, dude. Uh, I know you're a very busy individual, but I very much appreciated the help you gave me. You gave me just enough advice for me to find the right direction that I needed to look in, in terms of research and yada yada. So, thank yous aside, here we go. Spirit Temple's underway, folks. Alright, as we declared last time with here, when we were here, when we were doing a shot, when I was doing like my Sean Connery voice, we couldn't go to the right or left, but now that we're a ch uh, child, let's go ahead and check out the left. Hello, who's this fine little sassy lady? I haven't seen you round, kid. What do you want? To see the temple. Um, I mean, I'm looking for sages. Uh, I'm a well. Nah, I'm not really doing nothing, really. You have nothing to do? <laughs> well, what perfect good timing! Can you do a favor for me, kid? Wait a second. Uh, let me ask you. I want to know one thing. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's, um, followers, would you? What if I am? No, I'm just kidding. I HATE GANONDORF! Uh-huh. You've got guts, kid. I think I like you. Wait a minute now. Slow down. Slow down there, tiger. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Nabaru of the Jorudo. I am a lone wolf thief. Ow! But don't get me wrong. Though we are both thieves, I am completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children and he even killed people. That disgusting individual! He should be hanged! A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every 100 years. Even though our laws say that lone male Gerudo must become king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. You go, sister! Show that woman power! By the way, what is your name, kid? Silent Ass? Oh, what kind of name is that? Well, uh, anyway. Well, at least my name doesn't have a freaking accent named Brew. Jeez, man. I want to ask you a favor. 
Here we go. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's it's Wait a minute now, which... Okay. Moving on. The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull at very heavy things. No, 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 no. Don't even think about it, kid. You're not taking this treasure for yourself. But I wanna... The silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Again, a dwarf and his minions are using the spirit temples I hide out. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to stew all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Well... Yeah, might as well. I'm bored. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ginnon Dwarf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get the silver gauntlets, I'll do something great for you, wink wink. We could be a lot dead when we get back. Oh, fine. Let's, let's, I'll grow up a little bit. So, into the little hole we go, crawling through like little ants. Alright, when you come in here, I would highly advise you don't have your Deku shield out because, once again, the lovely fire bats are back. Or fire keys, I believe is what they're called. Okay, we're gonna need... Well, I'm gonna need... Other people will probably use a bomb. I'm just gonna use a bomb chew, because I'm weird that way, man. Alright, throw this at you. You die. Stop coming after me! Okay, he just did like a skid halt and kaboom. Now that was pretty cool. Alright, let's get rid of these magic beans in the soccer right because we're not gonna need them. Uh, boomerang, slingshot, yeah, that'll be a good spot. Good way to start off. Dude! Stop putting me on fire! I don't want to be angry again. I mean, seriously. Heck, man. Alrighty. Oh, excuse me. So, upon killing all the enemies in here, assuming you didn't die like, I don't, like a goofball, like I would, probably, there are three ways to go. You can head to the right, crawl in this hole and go to the middle, or go to the left. I'm going to take the left, actually, because that would pretty much be the best option for the time being. Look! It's Stelphos! Anga! Yeah! Yeah! Alright, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna make like a ninja. Fool, you will take some pain! What? You can't make like a ninja, you're dead! No! I will not be defeated by the dead man! You are not the Undertaker, you cannot beat me! You're not Grim Reaper? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on! Oh, oh yeah, right in the leg! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, get in the leg, I get... Right in the booty! Yeah, gotcha! <laughs> Spin attack. Booyah. Alright, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Swing, swing, dice, dice, swing. Whoosh! Oh yeah. Come on, man, die. Can we stun? Can we do something? Can we not die? Can, we di can you die? Can you die again? Would you please? Thank you! Fine. Jeez. Already, uh, this is a, this is that giant green bubble that we saw down in the well. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and... yeah. Goodbye. Alright, this room get, can give people some troubles. What you want to do is take your boomerang, kind of go off to the left a hair bit, and then throw it away. whoosh -a! Flick the booger, and it'll come right back to you. Ooh, chest! Ah! Duck and cover, man. Duck and cover. That's the way to do it in this temple. Oh, yeah. Five rubies! Lame. Here we go, we're gonna start that crap again. Oh, yay, this is a fun room. Okay, if you got Den's Fire, this is actually really easy, but I'm gonna try if I can get past him without falling off. This is Anubis, and... I'm gonna fall. I am gonna freaking fall! No! Yes! Ah, oh, I got burned again. The way they intended for you to really actually clobber Anubis, that's that thing right there, he's actually vulnerable to fire. Navi, if you target, Navi will tell you. You want to knock the stink pot towards the door, then hit the switch over there, and then boom, he, he dies a fiery, painful death. That's assuming you don't want to go, Ah, oh, screw this, Den's fire, let's burn everything! <laughs> Sorry, crazy man's coming out again. But, yeah, you're going to find, I think, that it's probably better to use this fire, and a lot less painful. So let's 
Let's see here. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Oh, come on. Not again. Are you guys, like, in every freaking temple? I mean, seriously. Just bar the fire and water temple? Jeez. Donkos. You die. You die. Let me give you a hand. Let me give you a hand with death. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, great. More collecting rubies again. So let's collect all five. Let's see, one more of the torch, one on the ground. I think there's two in corners. One up here, and then one on the far left. Do, 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 do. Shimmy, shimmy, and I'm shimmying on over. That's me alone. Really? Seriously? Stupid golden sculptola. Alright. So by collecting those, you're like, okay, bridge up here, now what? Oh, you just let the bats in. Fantastic. Whoa, hello. Dude. You need to die. Okay, good. Let's see here. Can we say lights out? Booyah. I think that okay, yeah. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Ooh, chicka, ooh, make a rap, mix rapping. Oh, yeah. With all the funky, weird words I keep using over and over again. Seriously, it's overkill. Alright, so we're gonna take a torch here. A torch here. Boom, boom. And they drop a chest. Let's go check it out. Let's go check the chest out. Kick it open. You got the dungeon key. Yay. Of course, you wouldn't have known to do that unless you go into the middle room and you find out you had a locked door. And guess what? <gasps> that door? Really? This temple turned me around again! That's why you want to go to the right, in case you're curious. If you go to the right, you can't do anything until you kill all the ba- uh, Or actually, no, you don't- Is it called? No. It's if you collect all the rubies. Derp. My bad. Alright, so... Ah, uh, with the first chunk of junk out of the way, we shall progress through the temple. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. Nice little skeletal. So I guess I should tell you guys my in a little uh, interesting roundabout I had with my getting the microphone and whatnot, just for something random. Um, originally I was I said I think I said I was gonna wait till and see what. Good old, good old Saint Nick brought for the holidays, and sure enough, I was able to get a new mic, or headset mic combination. And for some reason, when I first got it, it uh, crapped out on the the sound sounded terrible. So naturally, I thought it it was like, oh great, it's broken. I gotta put it back. Well then, life got more interesting. I somehow lost the receipt for it, so I'm like, okay, great. Now I gotta really think about what I want to get for the next um, thing, or thing, next like microphone I can use. Really? Nothing? Ugh. That was a waste. I'll hit this. Thing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, like I was saying, I took the receipt, yada yada. Or, I didn't take the receipt. I lost it. Took it in the lost like a genius I am. And then I started playing around with uh, my younger brother's rock band microphone that he had picked up from like trade and plate or something like that. And it worked fine. And then I had a problem, and yeah, long story short, so I can shorten this up. I found out that the thing I bought originally actually does work. Uh, it just, the headphones on it really suck. So I can now record quality sound without any fuzzy noise. And I didn't waste 60 bucks, so hoorah for that. So, yeah. Ah, cool story, bro, yeah? Alright, when you come in here, uh, make sure you don't kill the Skull and Skulltola, because it makes opening up things a lot easier. Because you can just blow him up, and in the process, open the door to the next room by lighting the sun! Mr. Sunshine! Yay! Super happy! Yeah! Alrighty. Let's see, oh yeah, we want to push this guy off, because he's being ugly. He's been a bad little statue, we're going to shove him off there. And sure enough, I know the door opens, but where to? Oh, we'll get to it eventually, let's explore the area a little bit. Anything over here? KILLER JAR! No! Okay. Well, at least he gave me a heart. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to definitely have to break the uh, sequence of using 
Avoiding using... Seriously? Seriously? Avoiding using Den's fire because I am not about to travel upstairs. Because that is the way you would have to, if you wanted to, like, do, like, some crazy run where you try to use as le Den's fire the least amount, I guess. Um, you'd have to travel upstairs to go get a torch and then run down, and yeah, I'm not going to do that, so. I think this is the dungeon map, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yes! That's dungeon map! I can find out where I've got to go! It's over here. The killer jar! Ouch! That hurts. That hurt rocks. That's not nice. You shouldn't throw things at people. Stupid temple. No spear in my butt. Freaking jars flying over the place. It's crazy. It's crazy, I tell ya! Alrighty, so. Let's travel up these stairs, since that seems to be the best option. And yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Whatever that is. And I'm gonna climb up these stairs. Hoorah! And into another room. No! Don't lock me in here! I don't wanna. Hey! Shiny silver rubies! Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna hold off on getting those. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these block. I'll pull a couple of these blocks off to the side here. Yay! Now you. One, two, three! Yay! So I get the sunblock out. So, yeah. Wish I had any really cool store. Oh, I know what I want. I know some other cool stores. So, my Christmas was awesome! I don't know how y'alls were or whatever holiday you guys celebrate. Please tell me about it. Leave it in the comments, y'all. But, uh, let me see. Not many funny stories. Um, no, I don't really have any funny stories on Christmas Day or on the day I celebrated my holiday, but the day I went down to my visit my grandparents, uh, <laughs> that's when things got really interesting, actually. Uh, see, when I first got there, they had ended up ha apparently they were having some plumbing issues, so when I got there, I couldn't really use the kitchen sink or anything else, any other, like, plumbing device in there. Because they had to have their tank emptied, so to speak. Uh, that travel that they used for basically dumping everything into, you know, everything from the toilet to uh, things you would like drain the kitchen sink with. And anyway, long story short, I ended up having to. Why am I missing? Seriously, target and then drop it, man. Okay. And uh, long, uh let me see where we're going with this. Oh yeah. I ended up having to dig a hole, and somebody's talking really loudly outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's interesting. Man, he's coughing too. Whew. Must be feeling ill. Anyway, back to my story. Like I was saying, um, I had to help dig a hole. I think that's what I... Yeah, that's what I was going. And... I got to understand how hard it is to dig a hole, actually. I thought it was like, oh, it's simple. Just take the shovel and stick it in the ground and pull up the pile of dirt. Ha <laughs> Wrongo! That's when I found out otherwise, and I gotta stop getting myself pain here. That's not nice. It's not nice. You shouldn't give yourself pain, man. You're not emo. And, yeah. I guess that's not much of a cool story. I mean, digging a hole. Especially digging, digging a hole near the septic tank. Oh, man, that was a fun job. Smell all that tur, all the turds and other fun stuff in the ground. Oh, that was a real treat. So, yeah. Moving on, because I might make some people toss their lunch here. <laughs> Kick the chest open. Ha ha! I got another key! Hoorah! So, we're going to travel off to the left, I guess. So, I think I already told you guys, but yeah, please comment and let me know which, how your Christmas and, or whatever your holidays were like, man. Jeez, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Deja vu much? No? Alright, so let's grab this. What? Okay, fine. You know what? Since I'm terrible at aiming the boomerang, I'm going to slingshot it. Ready? One, two, three. Fire! 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 Oh, yeah. Here we go. Boomerang. Whoosha! Got it! We awesome. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, this is actually a good place to stop! 
Hoo-rah! So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And, as always, don't let your tails fly up.